My favourite thing in the world is a patient subscriber. It's been a while since I promised this video, but I ain't one to go back on my word. So here is my painting tutorial for how I painted a silver birch style ent. Starting on a black undercoat and a base of sand, a pebble and some lichen? 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 I don't know. Uh, I painted the whole tree. Wait! He is no tree! Okay, I painted the whole ent in Charidon granite or Sturm vermin. The second layer is Celestra Grey, and I don't really leave any of the Charidon showing through. Maybe some in the cracks of the bark, but I certainly didn't dry bush it. Sorry, too many tree puns already? But anyway, uh, uh, no, I didn't dry brush it. It was more like a thin layer all over. Now, with Ulthuan Grey, I basically layered it on horizontally across the end to start building up the illusion of texture on the bark. I did this from top to bottom a couple of times, building up a kind of a stripy look by using different consistencies of the paint. Just by adding more or less water, you make those stripes more or less consistent, something I do by accident usually, but I use to my favour here. Still using this striping technique, I used skull white, pretty thin down and used sparingly, but crucially not highlighting existing stripes, but adding more layers of different coloured stripes, again with different consistencies of
Black Angels Green, I focus on the foliage. It's fantasy, so I went with a nice cartoony green, but we can darken it down a little bit later. I also painted the lichen, or lichen, lichen, green as well. Light on the leaves with Dark Angels green again. I was pretty delicate with this process, painting every single leaf individually, not dry brushing them either. Like in Leaf by Niggle. Now I paint the ground Calthan brown. While it's still wet, I used Cherrigan granite on my, well, granite, though it's actually made of slate if I remember correctly. Codex Grey is layered on sparingly while Charidon Granite is still wet, adds a kind of highlight but not a very obvious highlight, it looks much nicer this way. Then I dry brush the dirt with Graveyard Earth, and I neaten up the base and then it's pretty much done. Voila, an Ent. Thank you very much for watching another one of my Battle Games in Middle Earth tutorials. I hope you enjoy the new edition of the game. I'll be painting some new miniatures and models very, very soon, so do stick around and subscribe if you can.